Morning, good day, good afternoon. Welcome back to the Shoe Snob One Take Wonder unboxing videos. Here I have something very new and very special today. Something different than what you've ever seen me write about or talk about. And I'm quite excited and quite curious. So the brand at hand is named Texture. Texture minus the E before the X, like this. For those that don't know, Texture is an Indonesian shoe brand. Um, for those that know, don't know much about Indonesian shoe brands, well, do know that they are very up and coming right now and making big names for themselves on Instagram. One thing I did not notice is their love of the Americana look and a lot of shoemakers from Indonesia just make Americana type boots. Um, there's tons of them, to be honest, uh, and I won't even try to pronounce all the names and I, and I can't say I know all of them, but one that did catch my eye was Texture. So I reached out to them in the hopes to help spread their name across the rest of the world because I think they make a cool, a very cool looking uh, boot, shoe, whatever, uh, piece of footwear at uh, outrageously good pricing. Um, and from the photos, they look super well made. So let's see if reality matches photography. So first and foremost, quite a large box, a box like I had ever seen before, uh, which makes sense because they are quite big, thick, chunky sold uh, footwear. So they need a big, durable box. Um, coming from Indonesia, it took a bit of beating, but you know, this happens because uh, the, sh the uh, shipping companies are, aren't always so forgiving when they handle packages. All right. So inside we have a nice little presentation. It comes with a few pamphlets, texture shoemakers, a pursuit of excellence. It kind of touches on their shoemaking and what they stand for. Um, it's actually really nice, um, really well done. It's a little thank you, gives you some details on how to find them, where to find them, all their social media channels, some nice photography, a nice pamphlet really showing you a bit about the brand. It's a great touch. Um, then there's another envelope here, which is a certificate of authenticity. Interesting. Um, this card is certified that products purchased from us are determined to be expertly handcrafted and authentic textures goods. It even comes with a certificate number that states the MTO number as, by the way, these I believe are all made on a case by case uh, basis. They, they quote, everything takes about 30 to 40 days to make. So they don't actually hold stock. They make you a pair, uh, pretty much made to order. They have a beautiful seal and emblem. It's, these details are just pretty impressive, to be honest. Um, got another little goodie bag here. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, are these masks? Well, they're masks for the current COVID uh, situation going on. Branded masks that say texture. Oh, also a nice touch. They keep impressing me more and more. You can see that no detail went spared. So I pull it out. Nice bag, a large bag. There is this looks like you hold your laces in it, a little piece of leather with a button, um, maybe to hold the spare laces, which is also included. Again, you see that the details don't go amiss. Maybe that's why it takes 30 or 40 days. They gotta make sure everything is perfectly packaged and presented, and you'll be surprised once, once I tell you the price. All right, now let's take a look at what we got. Again, Packaging, they even tape up the tissue paper on top of the boots, which is nice. They want to make sure everything is extra protected. The emblem, again, on the bagging, the branding is there. The tissue paper took a bit of a beating, but hey, that's what happens. So, let's take a look. At first glance, the boots feel lightweight for how massive they are. 
Here we go. They put a nice shine on them. Nice shine on the heel, nice shine on the toe, little bit touch throughout. I believe this is called the Sanity model. Um, one that appealed to me uh, looks wise. I'm not gonna say that I ever was a huge personal Americana fan. I, I like the idea of it. I liked how it looked on, you know, rugged men, but it never really suited me per se. But I saw these, I, li I, I liked how, for me, even though they're a bit chunky and a bit big, they felt a little bit more kind of slim, streamlined, I don't know, like a little more finesse. They don't have huge welts. They don't have, I mean, they do have these things, but I picked the one that I felt was the slimmest looking that I thought I could wear with some, some jeans in the winter and, uh, and get some good use out of whenever I want to be kind of rugged per se. Uh, stomp on the streets in New York and or going somewhere colder more of the elements um, Man, they look great uh, It's a Vibram sole. It's a lightweight sole there are on top of the Vibram sole there are two midsoles and What looks well, it's actually it's hard to explain. It almost looks like there are two welts There's like a welt from joint to joint and then another welt a thick welt uh, All the way around and then a sole and then the vibram sole uh, I was trying to get uh, Info on the actual product page of the construction they have what they call a, a cadenon stitch and truth be told i never heard of this and it's this kind of like dual uh welted system which i imagine just makes them immensely uh durable and long lasting and it and the it goes from joint to joint and then from the heel it's a single welted stitch so this cannon is apparently a form of welting but with multiple soles multiple stitching again probably boots that could last you, your children, your grandchildren's lifetimes with some nice solid leather. I'm not going to claim that I know where the leather is from. It does look like a kind of oil grease type leather, the common leather that you find in these Americana Red Wing style boots ones that are very strong to the elements um obviously they are finished uh so you could say that is a, it is a corrected grain for sure but you know this is the type of corrected grain you need if you're building boots that are going to last a lifetime um these are not fine dress shoes these are supposed to be solid workman boots and that's what they are now what's going to blow your socks off is these cost around two hundred dollars which is insane i don't even know how they manage that um they say you know they have the marketing that everything is handmade but then they say it's traditional shoemaking where somebody's in a factory or maybe a small workshop obviously these are stitched with machines there are people there who know how to work the machines that takes skills um the quality of all the materials looks good. Uh, I mean, for two hundred dollars, I'm flabbergasted. It's uh, you know, I'm not gonna say I have personal experience with Red Wing and the like, and all these uh, Viberg and and all these crazy priced American Americana made brands, but at two hundred dollars, I see the Indonesian market going bonkers on orders. Um, because I can imagine these are going to give you just as good, potentially, maybe even better craftsmanship than the like. Now, again, I say that without having real true experience in Red Wing and Viberg. But again, just knowing shoes in general, I've seen Red Wings in person. Uh, I've dealt with Wolverines and the like. I just, you know, this is impressive stuff for the price, truly. So... I haven't actually tried them on um, they look they look wide but I think they, they actually look like my size I think part of that is just the appearance but I definitely hope that I can put them on with some thicker socks in the winter 
I'll do another post, a longer post about the fit and take some nice shots, but super impressed. I think they're really cool and I can't wait to actually get some use out of them once it becomes cold again. Um, so I might even double slow them on. It's not so hot yet in New York. The humidity hasn't creeped up on us yet. So we're still in those forgiving, nice sunny days, but not overly crazy hot. Beautiful stuff. I'm super impressed. Texture is the brand. That's T-X-T-U-R-E. See the links. Check them out. Order a pair. The people are very nice. Again, it's good to support small makers, especially in tough times like we're going in now. These people, you can tell they're putting their heart and soul into this brand. You see it with the details. You see it with the kind gifts. You see it with the craftsmanship. It's good to support small brands no matter where they're from. Um, people are people and passion is passion. Quality is quality. That's all you ever need to know. Country location means nothing. Support people. Support quality. Uh, the price is amazing. It's hard to beat. And I dare say the quality is going to be up with the best of them. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more. I have other things on the way from Indonesia and other places as well that you might not have thought of. I'm working hard to give you guys as much content as possible on new brands of the day and, you know, do more videos because everybody wants to watch a video. Uh, yeah, anyway, have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. If you like, please share. Please subscribe to all the Shoe Snob Media, social media outlets. Thanks a bunch. Take care.